The eastern skunk cabbage forms colonies near streams in cold regions, extending its flower bud while the snow is still deep. It is a perennial plant which belongs to the Araceae family that colors moorlands in early spring. This plant is particularly famous for generating heat when it blossoms. Blossoming can occur as early as late January, when the snow is still deep. So it generates heat in order to melt through the snow and make its way to the surface. The large, distinctive auburn-colored section is called a spathe. The flower is actually the yellow spherical object found inside this spathe. The flowers, which gather like a tortoise's shell, first mature the pistil, then the stamen matures to produce pollen. Heat generation only occurs for around a week while the pistil matures. The flower cannot, however, be observed as it is still inside the spathe during this period. We used a thermal camera to analyze a flower that had just opened its spathe, which contained an immature stamen without any pollen. But as expected, any noticeable heat generation had ceased, and we could only measure a three degree difference with the outside temperature. It has been determined that the temperature inside the spathe while the pistil matures is maintained at 20 to 25 degrees, even with sub-zero external conditions. However, that isn't the eastern skunk cabbage's only phenomenal ability. The cells that generate heat in the eastern skunk cabbage have a thermostat-like sensor that maintains a constant heat output. This sensing function has a phenomenal accuracy of plus or minus 0.01 degrees Celsius. Yet another mystery exists. The eastern skunk cabbage doesn't self-pollinate, so it can't bear fruit unless it synchronizes the maturation period with other flowers. As there are few insects active during this period, the flowers need to blossom in union to be certain of pollinating with the limited opportunities at hand. To do this, they need to mutually adjust the maturation periods of the pistil and stamen. While it appears to humans as though the large, distinctive red spathes are blossoming simultaneously, it is necessary to slightly alter the maturation state of the flowers housed within. Amidst the annual onset of winter, how is it that they gauge the coming of spring and the activity of insects it brings? Understanding the mechanism behind this heat generation and regulation is advancing on a molecular level and is expected to be applied in energy-saving air conditioners. However, the eastern skunk cabbage still has many mysterious secrets. There is no doubt that this is a product of nature's wisdom, formulated by this living thing to attract the limited insects of snowy winter to sow the seeds of its next generation. Humans do not have such refined sensors with which to measure the natural world. However, humankind possesses the power of analysis, one that goes beyond our natural limitations. The protection of this diverse and beautiful Earth through the analysis of nature is a mission that has been entrusted to humankind. <laughs>